So now we're going to go ahead and implement our protocol. We need to navigate to the OW Outer Space Table View Controller header file. And this class needs to conform to the protocol we wrote in the OW Add Space Object View Controller. So let's type in OW, but wait, we don't have it yet. So what do we need to do? We need to import OW Add Space Object View Controller.h. And now we can conform to this protocol by adding the OW Add Space Object View Controller Delegate protocol inside of Angle Braces. Great, so now that we can form to the protocol to find an OW Add Space Object View Controller, we're going to go ahead and implement both of the required methods in our implementation file. So let's do this above our table view data source and let's add another pragma mark so that we can organize our delegates nicely. And we'll call this OW Add Space Object View Controller Delegate. And let's implement both of the required methods. So it's going to be void, and this is going to be did cancel. And we can add curly braces. And let's define our other method, or let's implement it. So we'll say add uh, space object. We can add curly braces as well. So now we've implemented both of the methods, but these methods are going to be called from the OW add space view controller.m file. So for now, let's just add some NS logs in here. And we'll say did cancel. And let's add an NS log in add space object. And we're also going to add two lines of code here, one in each uh, method. And what we're going to be able to do is this view controller, our OW outer space table view controller, is be able, going to be able to dismiss the view controller, specifically the add space object view controller, when it's on top of the current view controller. So how are we going to do that? We're going to write self dismiss view controller, and we're going to animate it, and we're not going to use a completion block for now. We're going to set that equal to nil. And we're going to copy this line of code, and we're going to add it down here as well. So now that we've implemented both of these methods, we have an additional step and that's we need to set the property, the delegate property of our destination view controller equal to self. So let's go ahead into our prepare for segue method and below uh, our current if statements we're going to add another if statement. We're going to say if segue dot destination view controller is kind of class and we'll check to make sure that we're going to our OW add space object view controller class so we'll say OW add space object view controller class and if this is the case we need to set the delegate property for our OW add space object view controller instance so how do we get access to the instance well we're gonna simply say OW add space object view controller and we can say add space object vc, vc is short for view controller and we're going to say segue dot destination view controller and now we can set the property of this instance so we're going to say add space object vc dot delegate is equal to self and what we're doing here is we're setting the property that we created in our add space object view controller and we're setting it equal to this current view controller so now we'll be able to access that inside of the OW add space object view controller class.